Website template reviews here today looking at Artistier, the website builder. We're presently in a screen here of a new HTML web static website. I wanted to start here because I wanted to show you a couple of the new Artistier 3.0 features. Uh, you can see here you can create new pages. I like that. That's pretty cool. You can also actually edit within Artistier and create your own content. The other element you can do is you can create your own blocks. So in your layout, you create a new block. And there it is. And you add text. And you can control the layout of that as well as the sidebars. But I'm going to show you generally the overall features of Artistier in WordPress because that's what I use it for mostly since I recently upgraded to the 3.0. Switching to a different platform is easy. You go to New, go to a new project, and here are your options. You can see them all right along here. I'm going to go with WordPress. I don't want to say it. The default style in WordPress, if you don't like that, you can start getting some design ideas pretty much ready to go for you. And you just click the suggested design. Now, here's how it works. You have along here the basic sections of your website. And when you're within a particular section, your sub options are all down here. So under ideas, you can do suggest colors. It'll change that for you. Fonts, the whole bit. I usually like scrolling and checking on ideas. And then I might take the color themes and go a little bit further. And you can see your color themes aren't many. And this is a, a nice upgrade with the 3.0. A lot more pre-built designs you can use. Layout. You can choose from quite a few layouts. You can do the full width header as we have, or you can go to a, lay a header with no menu, or header with a menu, and so forth. You can put the menu on top. You can do rounded sheets, or you can go with the square sheet, whatever you like. Backgrounds. This is pretty nice. You can uh, use images. You can go with no background. You can go with a variety of textures and so forth. You can choose gradients along here. You can choose the lighting effect. And there you have it. You can also upload your own custom background if that's what you want to do and have a good one to use. Sheet pertains to this part around here. Go with the rounded. You can change your margins, padding, shadow. You can fill it in with colors, transparency, border, the whole nine yards. Header, lots of options here. You can use uh, the background images provided, quite a nice large library, including some cityscapes. You can give foreground images. This woman here is a foreground image. You can change that here, and you get a whole library of foreground images. You can change the location of the foreground image, just like that. You can upload your own images as well for your foreground. You can choose transparency. You can change the text. Right now it says headline. You can change it to whatever you want. You can change the position of where you put the logo part as well. You can put it on the left, on the right, wherever you like. When you export it, that's where it's going to be. So before you export, be sure to change that. I've forgotten to do that a few times. Moving on to the menu, that's referring to the horizontal menu up here. You can go with the, uh, the tab look, the seamless look. You can include your separators. You can choose your font. You can bold your menu items. You can increase the size of the font. You can change the fill of your menu bar if you like. You can customize the colors of all of your sub menus and so forth. Articles goes to how you lay out your articles, font, how you 
design your headings, your H tags, placement of your text, author and date information if you want to include that. Sidebar, you can totally customize your sidebar here. You can go with the different looks. We just cut that off. And again, pull down the menu. You've got lots of options right there. Your layout, this is a biggie. You have a choice of a single column, double column, or the triple. As you see, if you go with the triple, you're going to have to change the width and so forth to make a fit. As you can see, this is really easy to do. Lots of options. I'm really glossing over the features here. The vertical menu, you have to choose the position first. So if you want it up on the left there, you get a vertical menu. This uh, pertains to the same items as what you have in your horizontal menu. You can choose what you put in there. Um, basically, it creates um, uh, a menu when you export it into WordPress. Uh, I include it. You don't necessarily have to use it in WordPress, but it creates a widget for you to use. Just nice to have that option if you decide to want it. Uh, you can change the coloring of your vertical menu. You can basically completely customize the vertical menu. Buttons as well. You can customize all the buttons placed in your website. Border, fill color, texture, gradient, shadow, etc. Footer. Don't forget about your footer. The footer here now seems a little bit missing. This part here, which I'm in right now, that's the footer. There's down here, there's, uh, when you export it, you can put in uh, various um, attributes as well if you like, but you can also take that out. That's up to you. So the, when it's talking about footer for design, this is the footer here. You can customize the fill, your RSS icon, uh, the, the text you're going to, the actual content or text that you put in the footer, you'll um, be able to edit that when you actually install it on your WordPress platform, Joomla, Tr Drupal, whichever platform you're using. That is a whirlwind tour. That is really glossing over the features in Artistier. Seriously, it's uh, you can try it for free. Um, like I said, I, I bought it a couple of years ago. I used it with Joomla. I, I stopped using it for WordPress. I now um, am back being interested, especially with the library of images. I like having those images available, uh, getting design ideas. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You don't need to know any coding, and you can build websites quickly.